Not a single corner of the globe was untouched by the impact of the Earth's medieval centuries. From the Romans to the Renaissance, there were major leaps forward in farming, art, religion, and many other branches of the intellectual thought. The Europe that emerged from these Middle Ages was a far more refined, advanced place, setting the stage for the Industrial Revolution and modernity beyond. Today, many of these medieval old towns still endure, offering a charming and tangible glimpse of a past that we can normally only imagine. So in this video, we're going to discuss Europe's most medieval cities. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. 5. Obidos, Portugal Wild Obidos, perched on a hilltop just over an hour's drive from Lisbon, was founded in 308 BC. What you see today is mainly the medieval section, carefully preserved and encircled by the crenellated ramparts that snake over the hillside, topped by a tall, imposing castle. Clustered inside the walls is a jumble of the whitewashed houses and old churches with warm terracotta roof tiles, some of the buildings adored with jaunty colors of the blue and yellow. One of the most beautiful places in Portugal, Obidos is a place to lose yourself, to wander the streets, peeking into the Igreja de Santa Maria church, to admire the beautiful 17th century Azulejos tiles. Climb up the stairs up the Porto de Vila or the 13th century castle, which is now a luxury hotel, and stroll the mile-long circumference off the walls, built by the Moors between the 7th and 11th centuries. 4. Edinburgh, Scotland with its own unbeatable charm and urban castle, this Scottish city gives value for money to Edinburgh as the best medieval settlement in Europe. The old town made up of medieval tentaments and narrow alleyways back to be explored. While the green buildings of the Georgian new town constructed in the 18th century will capture your gaze, for a history fix, Holyrood Palace and St. Giles Church are worth a visit. Make sure to check out the statue of the Grey Friars Bobby too. Festivals, top-class dining, great shopping, and exciting nightlife mean there is always a good time to visit. During the summer months, the city comes alive with music, comedy, arts, and theater as it hosts seven spectacular festivals. As you walk the worn streets, your tips can quickly get down the perfect magical tales as you get to hear the melodious music from the Big Pipers, Tales of the Braveheart William Wallace, and the Lachness Monster, who came from the north. Since the 1100s, Edinburgh also had the Royal Castle, but it's less about serene sights and more of the folklore and history where we embrace the medieval city. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. Carcassonne, France Many board game players might be familiar with Carcassonne from having played the extremely popular strategy game. And you will be happy to hear that Carcassonne is a fantastically preserved medieval city, the oldest in Europe in fact. Of course, one look at the beautiful medieval walls of the Carcassonne will tell you why countless people have been inspired by the beauty of this town. Regarded as one of the potential highlights of any visit to the south of the France, Carcassonne is definitely worth a trip for anyone with an interest in the medieval history and architecture. Established in the early 10th century, the city offers a unique insight into the European medieval history and culture. Surrounded by a great wall with towers and double-walled gates, Carcassonne appears to bring visitors back in time. Visitors can explore the 2,500 years of history by admiring its cobbled streets, Renaissance arcades, and Romanesque cathedrals or take a step back in time when knights fought for their kingdom. This fascinating town is steeped in rich culture with its marketplaces, chapels, immense walls that were all built in different historical epochs, making it an inspiring destination for visitors all over the world. 2. Monsanto, Portugal If you are making a trip to or through Lisbon, you will probably visit the nearby town of the Abidos. But even though this is a great pit stop, let it serve as a jumping-off point. From there, head to the charming hilltop village of the Monsanto. 
Not only is the town itself worth the trip, but you are sure to have a memorable road trip through the hills of the northern Portugal. The most notable feature of this medieval town is its rock houses. It's amazing to imagine people calling these structures home, and it's humbling to stand in place when an obvious history unfolded. 1. Saint Michel, France If running away to a secluded and exotic medieval island sounds like an exciting thing, then we highly recommend Saint Michel. Saint Michel is one of the oldest towns in France, and the main reason it was found is that a bishop dreamt of it. This medieval island has an extensive history and many exciting things to do. For instance, you can visit the Gothic Abbey of the Mont Saint Michel. With prestigious gardens, halls, magnificent sea weaves, this place should be at the top of your list. From 966 onward, the Dukes of the Normandy, followed by the French kings, supported the development of a major Benedictine Abbey on the Mont Saint Michel. Magnificent monastic buildings were added throughout the Middle Ages, one vertiginous wing, in particular, being nicknamed the Marwell. The Abbey of the Mont Saint Michel became a renowned center of learning, attracting some of the greatest minds and manuscript illuminators in Europe. There is also a street named Grand Rue that can take you back to the medieval ages. But again, the cobblestone streets, stone houses, little shops and cafes are a peaceful retreat. So, that's it. Please like, share and comment your thoughts below if you liked the video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.